Hey. Look at that little grip <laughs> on my thumb. <laughs> You're so, so cute. Strong. He's so strong. So strong. Hey y'all, it's Butters, and today I am here with my sister Velocifoxer. Say hello. Hello. And today we are here to talk about my pet snake. Here he is. His name is Poe, and we're here to answer some questions about him. I also decided to bring my sister along for this because she is a big snake fanatic, and uh, tell us why. I like snakes. Okay. So this is my ball python. His name is Poe, and I named him Poe because if you guys can see on his patterning, it looks like he has little ghosts on the side, and it reminds me of Poe's from The Legend of Zelda. So that is why his name is Poe. But I spell Poe without an E, just because I like the spelling of P-O better. My snake is a ball python. Why don't you explain to us what a ball python is and what they do? A ball python is also known as a royal python, and they come from over in Africa. They are one of the best snakes to own if you are young. Although I don't suggest a snake for anybody under the age of 12. Ball pythons are easy because they're not usually aggressive. They eat pretty well on the occasion that you get a snakey that does not want to eat, but it's a rare, rare occurrence. They're cute. They're so cute. They're they have cute. little cute little puppy mouths. So the reason why they're usually called ball pythons is because when they're scared, they will just and they will ball up and they'll hide their head under their bodies. It's so cute. They, they this are, one's stupid. Done ball. My my snake is a little different. He doesn't like to ball up. That that uh, it's, it's which is totally normal, but it's very weird. Yeah, I I, I was kind of surprised when Poe didn't ball up at all. But your snakes ball up. Basil balls, fizz balls, mochi balls, balls, balls. <laughs> balls. Balls. <laughs> when it comes to ball pythons, the different coloring means that they are a different morph, which is essentially like breeds when it comes to dogs. So just they're different colors and you can breed for different ones. Some are more desired and more expensive while others are basic and uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of snakeys. And I managed to get a, was it pastel 100% het pied? Yes. Correct? And yes. one of the parents or both of the parents is a pied, which is a snake that is fully white with splotches. Is that correct? Yes, it is, uh, it's a pretty much what he looks like now except with more white. So it's got kind of a mutation of albinism where it would take certain patches of the snake and turn it white. It could be a high white snake, it could be a low white snake. Basically, different amounts of white with this pretty pattern. Little splotches all over them. They're really pretty and really, usually expensive, aren't they? Yes, they range from 400 to 500 in the last couple of Repticons I've gone to. That's money. That's money. That is money. All right, so let's answer some... Did you see that? Did he sneak he yawn? He yawned. <laughs> I got it on camera. <laughs> That's staying in. Oh my gosh, that rarely happens. So I tweeted out that I was going to be recording this video with my sister, and I let you guys ask some questions about Poe, so I will be answering them now. She's the one with all the snaky facts. I'm just here because it's my snaky. First question is by Nicholas Rude. How did you get into owning snakes? Also, I love snakes. I love snakes too. Haley, how did you get into owning snakes? I got into owning snakes because I took herpetology in college and I really dug it. And I was like, you know what? I want a snake. So I went and got a snake at a Repticon. And that's little Basil, who is now gargantuan. And yeah, I wanted more and I fueled my ball addiction. And now I've got two more and I want even more than that. And then I, I loved her snakes, and after she owned her snake Basil for a year, I decided that I really wanted a ball python of my own. So I went to a Repticon and picked this guy up, who is now on the move. Oh no. He's going. He's going. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Come on. Half this video's editing is going to be readjusting the snake to make sure, one, he doesn't fall off, and two, he's actually in frame. Wow. Next question is by Prospect. How long have you had your snake? Haley, go ahead and answer. Well, if any of you followed on Twitter, I used to have Pico, but he fell last Memorial Day to a respiratory infection when vets were closed, so very unfortunate. Basil, on the other hand, I have had since November 1st of 2014, so we just celebrated the whole year mark of me having him. Mm -hmm. And I got Poe two weeks ago? Yes. Yes, I've had Poe for only two weeks. He's still a little baby. He's just a little baboo. Next question is by Lost Tech. How old is he and when did you get him? I got him two weeks ago, but he is... How old do you think he is? He was two months when we got him, so oh, he, he just... Scared. He got scared. He got scared of the string. Now, he's about two months old, so probably mid-summer is when he was hatched. I want to say born, but they're hatched. Okay, so yeah, he was hatched in mid-summer. Fun fact, boas give birth and pythons lay eggs. I did not know that. Fun fact. 
That's kind of cool. Yeah. I did not know that. Oh, yeah. Next question is by David or David. What kind of butter do you dip snakes in for the best flavor? I don't know, Haley. What, 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 what butter? The only butter I can think of is garlic butter. So dip your snakeies in garlic butter. Next question is by Pokefan22. Can he, she do tricks? One, snakes don't have ears, so they can't hear you say their name or a trick, so no. Although that'd be neat. Do a flip. He can do flips. Hannah's pictures that she's posted on Twitter. I'll post a picture. I just punched your snake. <laughs> it's fine. I just like brought my hand. Yeah, me. take him back. He's too active. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Did she strike you? Do you see me? <laughs> There's like something wrong with him. He's, he's, he's. He's learning how to maneuver properly. He's a little he's been, derpy. He's probably spent- You're his, gonna fall! <laughs> he's probably spent most of his life in a box, so being arboreal is gonna be a challenge for him. He'll learn. He'll learn. He'll get there. Next question is by my buddy Raid Away. He says, what's one thing you don't like about snakes? I know, I can't think of anything either. They're so awesome. Sometimes they bite. Snakes don't really have that ill will towards things. Like, they don't see a person, they're just like, I hate you, I'm gonna hurt you. No, they're just like, what is that scary thing, ball up, and then just be like. Sometimes their poop really smells. Oh god, yeah, their poop stinks. But that's it, really. Yeah, well, everybody's poop stinks. True. Next question is by Frankie. If your snake had one magical power he or she could do, what would it be, and what's your real name? Well, my real name is Hannah, and... I'm Haley. Mm -hmm. What's up? And if my snake could have one magical power, I would want my snake to be invincible. Cause I've that had it nice. fall off everything. <laughs> Her snake is very derpy. He my likes to fall off is, all the things. My snake is a bumblebee, so he's got the wobbles very badly, and he tends to fall and crack his head on a lot of things. I joke he needs a helmet, but he seriously needs a helmet. So I want my snake to be invincible, so I don't have to worry about him really hurting himself. I want my snakey to breathe fire. Idea. That's a terrible idea. That's a don't terrible breathe idea. fire. Remember, Poe. If you ever get the ability to breathe fire, don't do it. Don't. Are you looking at me? Don't. Are you listening to me? Don't. Don't. Poe is in Legend of Zelda. Have those little lanterns. Fire them. If oh. my snake could have one magical power, it would be that he could carry a little lantern. That'd be so cute. That would be so cute. <laughs> How would he hold it? On his head. <laughs> One question that I know that we'll get asked a lot is, what do you feed him? So, what do you feed a ball python? We feed rats. We feed this guy little fuzzies, because he is kind of small. They are frozen thawed, by the way. We don't feed live. We do not I, do live. I love rats and mice. I think they're adorable, and feeding live would absolutely break my heart. So, we do frozen thawed, and anyways, frozen thawed is safer. healthier. Yeah, it's so safer, safer and healthier, because if you have a live animal attacking your snake, it can rip it apart, man. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Mm -hmm. We only feed our ball pythons once a week. There's no need to feed them anymore. And when you do feed them, what you do is you you thaw out the frozen rat by putting it in a bowl of water and putting it uh, in the bathroom sink on hot water. Have the hot water run for about. 10 That's minutes. what I do. I don't know if it's like the safest way, but well, it's you definitely the don't want to microwave way. them. Don't microwave it. Oh God, <laughs> that's a disaster. Don't happen. microwave it. <laughs> After the rat is thawed out, what you do is you take tongs and you hold it by the butt and you take your snake and you put it into a box and then you dangle the uh, the rat in front of them and eventually they will sense it and then they will go eat and they'll grab it and then they'll coil it immediately and start squeezing so that it will die. And then from there they will just swallow it whole. Die. Die. You know, they're, they're not... They're, yeah. they're already they're dead. Already dead. But they, they don't know they, that. They die. They, they die. I think it's definitely the smartest thing to take your snake and put it in a separate container when you feed them. Just yes. so that, you know, whenever you do reach the tank, it's not like, oh, food time, you know? Yes. It, 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 they know it's handling time. But when they're inside their box, they know it's food time. Yes. How often do they poop? Mine only poop once a month. I was going to say, because <laughs> mine hasn't pooped yet. <laughs> no. It, again, it depends on the snake, but Basil, my biggest, only poops like once a month. And when he does, it's gargantuan. Oh, God. But it's funny, because it's only once a month. He struggles for a good bit. It's funny. Why are we going into detail about your snake pooping? Because it's funny. 
it's a two. It's a just a just a two. This is my sister. Hi. Another question we'll probably get is what is the life expectancy of a ball python? So Haley? Life expectancy of a ball python varies depending on how well you take care of it. What I have been reading is from 20 to 30 years for a ball python, so a decently long time, so make sure you like it. Mm -hmm. Get yourself something pretty. Get yourself something pretty that you will love forever. For 30 years. For 30 years. Maybe more. Maybe more. Maybe you'll break the world record. Maybe you'll break the... That should be all the questions that we can think of off the top of our heads, so... Yeah, ball pythons. They're not so scary. They're cute little boogers, I think. Anyways, like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. And thank you, Velasa Foster, for joining me today. Not a problem, sissy dear. It was wonderful. It was. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.